That's the most dangerous part. Sticking your head in a box with a wild eagle. I don't recommend it to anyone. That's what we have to do. Okay, kid. Now, it appears that his injuries are minor. We're gonna give him a quick physical, see where we're at here. He's holding his wings up good. So that's a good sign. This is about a three and a half year old, four year old, Everything, that feels good and solid. He's molting, growing new feathers. Let's check out the other wing. See how that looks. He was on the freeway. Highway patrol spotted him and uh, called it in. And he uh, was able to clear the freeway fence, just barely. Get a, onto the frontage road and uh, was then crossed the frontage road fence and ended up in the fields and out on the desert is where he's been. Uh, he's not terrible skinny, he's a little skinny. So we're gonna start off with our favorite, which is a little bit of fluids. We gotta make sure we get it past the, there we go, all the way down the throat. So hydration is super important right now. There we go. Yeah, I know. That's my boy. It's okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, and I've got just a little bit of food. This is just, this isn't a meal. This is just a tiny bit to kind of get him started here. So we can get him to swallow a little bit here. And of course, I always get asked, do I ever get bitten? It's like every single day. Yeah, I know. Let me get this down you here. Yeah, there we go. Sure like it if he was a lot feistier. Oh, that was a good swallow. Now he can eat about 30 of these in a sitting, so this is just just a tiny bit in him just to kind of get the system started. Huh. Yeah, well there's a put over. You see, birds have a crop. They don't have a stomach, they have a crop. The crop's right here, and the gizzard that grinds up the food is right down there. And so what that put over does, when he just kind of stretches his head around a little bit, that just means he moves uh, one of the, the mice from here to go down to the gizzard to start digesting. And so that's, see that's called putting over. That's what he's doing right there. Okay, we've got a good little start on him. So let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna put him out in the chamber. Oh, struggle, struggle, struggle. Out. Okay, come on in, guys. Now this is our flight champ that we have, and and he is. There we go. There you go. Very good. Okay, that's our golden eagle. I uh, got a little tiny bit of food into him. We're going to get a a rabbit carcass thawed out so we can have a whole rabbit, and hopefully he'll he'll eat 
on his own and if he will eat it on his own uh probably just a concussion from being hit by the car he'll only be with us for a few days and release if all goes well and if not then we'll uh have to do more but hopefully this will be a quick and easy uh situation Gives our little friend a bath along with a meal. Now we picked him up about 12 o'clock noon and it was 95 degrees, so it was going to get over 100. He would have only survived another day, maybe two. So I'm grateful to the folks it called. So we go rescue it. A little rain shower. Yeah, that'll help him throw off just a tiny bit for you. The one that's all the way to the left, that's the one that I've had for about a month. And and it's coming along well. The other two are the two that came in the last couple of weeks. Mm. The center one's the older one, and the one all, all the way to the right is the juvenile. It's the juvenile. And you're, we're going to take the one on the left? No, no we're, we're doing the, that's the, right, that's the hawk and the owl. Oh, yeah. These guys yeah. still aren't ready to go. But they'll hopefully be ready to go fairly soon. Okay. Let's make sure this door gets locked before we mm -hmm. do that latch. Yep. Okay, little golden boy. So that's one that was on the upper perch? Yep. And then this is the big female here, the young one. See with the white in her tail? The young ones have white in their tail. There's my boy. Okay. This is a hood. This helps blindfold him to keep him calm when we transport him because their eyesight's so good they get really nervous. And so that's what this is for. So that's kind of their stress protection. Right there. I'm gonna grab a glove. You don't pull him out of the box. That's the most dangerous part. Hopefully he still has his hood on. You got your hood on? Yes, you do. Good boy. Okay, so I have to literally crawl in there to grab him. Oh boy. You do enough stunts, wrangling eagles isn't one of them. No, but I would. Mm -hmm. There we are. That's the most dangerous part is getting him out of the box. And, uh, you know, there's a... Can you feel his toes? Sure, just don't get your finger in here. Because no. that's a bad spot. That's where he'll hurt you. You know, I can wow. do it, but don't you try to do that. Wow. You know, this is just yeah, he... tendon. This is just muscle. You know, it's yeah. He'll hurt you bad. 
And so what I'm going to do is once we get around to where we're going to uh, release the eagle, I'm going to ask you to hold your hands out in front of you, both hands. Yes, okay. I'm going to take the eagle and I'm going to push his back into your chest. And I'm going to have you basically with your left hand grab a foot, with your right hand grab a foot, and then I'm going to have you hold him just like this. And, and then you don't release him until you take the hood off. <laughs> okay. That would be a bad thing. That would be a bad yeah. thing. And so I'll take the hood off, and you can look at him, you can hold him, you can feel his heartbeat, and you can have, an, have a, just a, a minute or two experience. And, and, then, and then you uh, basically just push him away from you, and you will be the last person on the planet to ever touch him. So eagle releases are a very powerful thing. Well, I feel it. Sorry, I'm walking slow. Mm -hmm. And that's why we need to get all these, uh, you know, people that watch the eagle cams. I mean, watching the eagle cams are great, but they don't fix anything. Exactly. You know, with, with my organization, we're out here and we're fixing the eagles and putting right. them back in the wild. And you don't ban them because you're not a government agency? Or... Well, we, we can ban eagles in the nest. Mm -hmm. We can ban the eagles on their on their winter migration, uh, but we can't ban ban the ones that we rescue. So that's okay if um, I'm over here. The federal government believes that wildlife rescue is biologically insignificant, and so any eagle that we report comes into our rescue center, they write it off as dead. And they say, "Don't ban dead animals." This is these are not dead. I mean, we release them back to the wild; they don't care. And so that's just the way the government is. Yeah. So, you ready? Alrighty. You have a safe trip and great adventure in your life and be safe and don't go to the freeway. <laughs> okay, arms out. I'll put him right here. Okay. And then I want you to get each leg because the talons are what will okay, hurt so, you. Okay. And we're just going to straighten them out here for you. Are you comfortable? Okay. I mean, just hold on to him. Got him. Just hold on. Okay. He says he's ready to go. You ready? Don't bite your feet. Okay, let's go. Okay, here we go, buddy. Fly safe. I love this kind of weather. Did you already show it to him earlier? Yeah, I so they got to see it. We're gonna sneak in with him. Did they dare step in here? No, they need no you need to stay there. Okay. You need to stay there. Sorry. Ready, Sue? Yeah. Let me get in the corner here. Okay. Well, I'm Martin Tyner with the Southwest Wildlife Foundation, and we're going to do a golden eagle release today. This is a female golden eagle, and let's go catch her. Hi, pretty girl. I'm her lady. Whoops. Thought she was going to go right past you. You got her. I'm pretty good at catching them. I know you are. Big and heavy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oops, shrink that, that down, sorry. We'll go to the car part where it's not raining. If your phone's not waterproof, is it? Well, about the same as any other phone. Not real well. I think I'm not filming very good. <laughs> okay. So well, here's our little girl. She's uh, she's this year's young. Uh, she had uh, got blown away from her mom and dad in the in a windstorm a couple of months ago. She was uh, 
basically up by Zion's National Park. She was starving to death. She was dehydrated. She couldn't feed herself. And so she was in really rough shape. So we were called in to rescue her. Hi, pretty lady. And so we rescued, got her rescued, got her fed. She's healthy. She feeds herself now. She flies back and forth in the chamber. And she's as ready as we can get her. And so, as you can see, we have a thunderstorm kind of moving through with a little bit of rain, and which is very nice. But where we're going to release her is down there, and there's no rain over there, so that's good. And so we'll uh, we'll get her put back in the wild. We're past the the hundred degree summer heat, which is really hard on these guys. So we're past all of that, and so she'll have a really good chance. She's eating a whole cottontail rabbit today, so she had a really big meal. This she is her probably hood. weighs more than 15 pounds of it. Oh yeah, Look she's a heavy girl. This is her hood. We put this on her head so that um, it helps to keep her calm while we're transporting her. And so we'll put this right here. That's my baby. My hair is being off. You're okay. I know. We got you. You're fine. I so said the whole point of this is to kind of keep her eyes closed so she doesn't get frightened in the drive. So now she's hooded and uh, we're ready to get her put her in the transport box and let's go get up on the mountain where we can release her. Yep. She's a big girl. She's a big girl. Yeah, just follow us down. And so you want to do exactly what I tell you and how to hold it properly to keep to keep you safe. Again, I'm going to hand you the eagle, and um, you follow my instructions, you'll be just fine. But do not let the eagle go until I take this hood off. And so hold out your arms. Okay, I'm going to bring the eagle there. And then I want you, let me get the feet separated here for you a little bit. And I want you to, there you go, you got both feet. You got an eagle. I got an eagle. <laughs> okay, a big female golden eagle. And we're gonna strike the hood. Now she may struggle a little bit, but hang on if she struggles. And the thing is that we don't know where she's gonna go. She might just fly down and around the corner and land because she doesn't know where she's at. Okay. She might just blast away and go up into the clouds and completely disappear. Hi, sweetie. There's my girl. They're my pretty girl. And so you are going to be the last person in the world to ever touch this beautiful animal. Wow, Lori. <laughs> okay. Okay, so show me again. You, you have it like this, you just kind of step forward and push her away. Okay. And I will be right here to make sure that you're okay. okay. Gorgeous weather. You can feel you, you can it, feel Lori. her. Yeah, this is actually great weather. Yeah, you know, the heat is what we have the problem. So this kind of weather is wonderful. Now the wind is coming in behind us, which so we can throw her more that way, which would be good. She'll but, probably turn into it, right? Uh, she'll probably just go down. Down with it. Okay. Okay. So let's